Assalamu alaikum. Hope you all are fine. This is Mira Susain Moon, your ICT teacher. I have come with another video. In my last lecture, I have tried to discuss some topics from computer networks. And today, I am going to discuss the rest of the topics from computer networks. In my previous class, I have discussed how the network are formed and how they are classified. In today's lecture, we will try to know what is the use of the network and why should we use the network and we will try to discuss about the different elements of computer network first of all i am trying to show you why should we use the network actually men are social beings so we cannot live by ourselves for doing anything in today's world we need to be connected with one another we are connected with one or another by several medias and several equipments right now. Suppose you are watching this video from YouTube. That means you all are connected with me through YouTube. That means a media is very much important to be connected to all the users. So network can be, share. Network can be used for sharing any documents, any data, or any software or any hardware. Suppose I am downloading a song from a website. That means I am using the network for downloading any data from a computer. Again, I want to use an online software. Actually, online softwares are kept on the server's computer. So, if I want to use that software, so I have to use a network or I have to use a media through which I can use that software which is kept on server's computer. So to use a online software, to use a software, a network is mandatory. We can use the networks for transferring the data and also use the softwares remotely. Suppose you have a lot of computers in your office but you have only one printer. So we can use a network to use that only one printer for all the users of your office. So if you take the help of some medias to connect all the computers with that printer we can easily reduce our cost. So on that case network is very much important actually right now we are globally connected with one another i think it's really easy to understand how important the use of the network is right now i am going to discuss about some network related equipments firstly i am going to discuss about hub so what is hub hub is a network related device which is used to connect several computer related devices in a single point. Suppose you want to make a common connections between your computer, your printer, your webcam and a projector. On that case, hub is very much needed to connect all these equipments in a common line. Our next topic is router. So what is the router? router comes from the word route that means the router is used to connect two active networks in a same protocol suppose you have just brought internet connections to your home but more than two users or more than one users want to connect with the networks on that case, you can simply use a router to connect several devices into a same network. So on that case, router helps to connect several networks in a same protocol. Right now, we are going to discuss about modem. What is modem? So modem is the modem comes from two words. One is modulations and another one is 
demorulations suppose you want to send informations to a to one point to another point so some data are required to send that data from the senders to the receivers so modem is something like a device or a networking device that helps to send the data from the computer to a network or to the receiver modem can be used in the cable network and it can also be used on wireless network so in the modem modulations and demodulations are happen right now we are going to discuss about lan so what is lan lan is also a networking devices which helps to connect two computers in a similar node or a similar protocol if you really want to connect two computers or two networks you must have a lan card by using a lan card you can connect two computers in the same protocol now we are going to discuss about the satellites and optic fibers as i have already told you if you really want to send any data or informations to the others computers or to any networks we should take the help from the media this media can be wireless or it can be wired so first i will discuss about a wired network that is the web optic fiber in today's world we have several wired media like optic fiber coaxial cable twisted pair cable several kinds of wired medias are available right now from this all wired media optic fiber are mostly used because of having a lot of features suppose we need to transmit a data into long distance on that case optic fibers are mostly used because in the optic fiber the rate of the data transmissions is too much high that we can send our data or we can send our informations in the speed of light mainly optic fiber works in the principle of internal reflections so as the data are sent on the speed of the light in optic fiber so we can easily send our data into a long distance with the help of a optic fiber or to build the internet it is playing an important role with all the submarine cables which actually you which is actually used to connect several networks from all over the world on that submarine cable optic fibers are mostly used it's cheaper it's it sends and receives data with high speeds and it's very easy to use that's why optic fibers are most used all over the world right now we are going to discuss about satellite so what is a satellite so satellite is nothing but a transceiver which is kept in a specific locations in our earth's orbit so satellite can be geosynchronous or it can be geostationary that means some satellites travels faster than the speeds of our earth and their satellites are geostationary and some satellites travels on the speed of our earth or their velocity is similar as the earth's velocity and their satellites are geostationary for for the communications both kinds of satellites are used 
but for transferring the data or as an antenna or as a transceiver geostationary satellites are mostly used they are situated more than 36000 km from earth on a specific location so if you really want to transmit our data if you really want to transfer the data with high speeds or in a long distance on that case satellites is very effective but it is very costly and it is really tough to maintain that's why we are using satellite extensively this was all for today hope you have enjoyed my class and if you really find it useful don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you in the next class stay safe thank you